we're back. Quimax took away. Lubily, uh, I think that's how you said it. An abusive guy thinks wife is cheating. What happens is shocking. Okay. Uh, I've only seen this channel once with my boy Global and Dan the Goat Man. But we're going to try it out today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. If you do, you already know what to do. Let's get it. Where the hell is she? Damn, bro. I've been drinking Modellas. Where is she? Is she Hispanic? She's unfaithful. She's Useless? What? What's the point of having a phone and she's not gonna use it? She's <laughs> bro is tripping. Bro, this is just like the freaking, I forgot, was it Spider-Man 1 or 2? Where where the, the mask was was talking to uh was talking to Green Goblin, bro. <laughs> Buddy is is tweaking, man. She probably just busy, you know what I'm saying? She just doing, I don't know what she's doing. But you know, just give her a chance, bro. She's cheating. She's cheating. She turned her phone on trust. Yeah, he is tweaking. Oh my goodness. You scared me. What are you still doing up? You're late. I called you like a hundred times. Where the hell have you been? I'm sorry. I was at work. We had meetings that ran late. Liar! It's like 10 o'clock. Work? <laughs> now tell me, where the hell were you? Calm down, where? buddy. She's lying. <laughs> She's lying. Whose name? Who's name? My coworker? Hey, when you play stupid. I know you were out with some guy if you're coming home so late. Give me your phone. Man, and babe. Nah, I, I, we need some more contests. Like, has, has this happened before? Is this like a one-time thing? You know what I'm saying? Unless he got some reason, has some type of like reason to, to uh, assume that she cheating. At least from what I'm looking at right now, he don't really got no, no, you know what I'm saying, leads or clues on, on her cheating. She probably just, she had to work a little OTOT. You know what I mean? It, 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 it just depends, though. I think he, for right now, he tripping. For right now, bro. Not only that, bro, you stressing out with some Modella. If it's to the point where you think she cheating so bad, where you're literally be having a psychotic episode and you're drinking heavy, multiple cans, brother, maybe you just shouldn't be with her, bro. I think you had a little too much. Give me your damn phone! I don't think it's that serious. Why is it all? It died while I was at work? No, 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 you turn it off so I wouldn't see your location. <laughs> Come on. This is getting ridiculous. Hurry up and turn on. Brandon. What? I was tripping. Wait, you afraid what I'm gonna find on this? Huh? You're probably sending him pictures too, aren't you? There's nothing on my phone, I swear. You are not sleeping in this room tonight. When this phone finally turns on right and I find out the man you've been seeing, it's not gonna be good for it's you. It's over for you. By the way, news flash, you can't find anyone better than me. Trust me, she can find plenty, bro. She's a woman, bro. Not only a woman, she's a white woman. She's a conventionally attractive white woman. She can find plenty people, especially an upgrade from you. That's easy. That's light work, bro. Mad easy. So the fact he's saying that, he's definitely tripping. He's mad delusional, bro. She can find somebody that's not a freaking insane drunk. You're not gonna find anyone to put up with your pathetic crap, okay? Now get out! I said, get out! That is my husband. We've been married for four years. Our relationship wasn't always this way, but now this is a normal day in my life. What the hell? My name is Cheryl, and this is how I regained control over my life. Bro putting his hands on her too? Nah, mm -hmm. he can't be having that. What is that? You give me that for Brit, baby. Baby, wake up. When I wake up, what is? I don't feel like talking, huh? Bro, just giving me snacks for breakfast. Look, I'm what? sorry you had to sleep on the couch last night, but you came home so late. I didn't know where you were. Nah, this nigga is tripping, bro. Like this man is is, is literally had a freaking he bipolar. One minute he flipping, he tripping out. Where you been at? You been gone all night. You been with Quaymax again, huh? And then waking up, baby, I'm I'm sorry for flipping out. I just didn't know where you were. I'm I'm, I'm sorry I had to put you on the couch, but I, you just have to understand where I'm coming from. And then you trying to you trying to win me back with some. This is not even breakfast, bro. This is snacks. You turned your phone off. You need to get better at communicating. 
<laughs> you said some really dreadful things. You don't think you deserved them? Look, last night didn't have to happen if you had handled things differently. That's like crazy. But let's let the past be the past. Now she need to go. Now eat your breakfast. <laughs> bro, that's not no <laughs> goddamn breakfast. <laughs> what is this, bro? There's no eggs, bacon, no sausage, no grits. Like, bro, the first thing I'm, I'm, I'm waking up and open my eyes and seeing this bullshit, bro, you can send that back. I don't want it. I don't. My mind felt all twisted. One moment he acts all mean and heartless, and the next he shows me love and is the sweetest person in the world. That's a red Was flag. I the crazy one? You gotta get out of there. He putting your hands on you too? Nah. But yeah, we gotta see some type of like clues or some proof or something before Ooh. I say it. <clears throat> Let me give it a benefit of right doubt. Right back at it again. Feels like we never left the office. Yeah, I thought those meetings were never gonna end. You look like you didn't get any sleep. Your eyes are all puffy. They did. Um, yeah, I just, I had trouble falling asleep when I got home. Now get out! I said, get out! I'm pretty sure that's not a one time thing. Everything okay, Cheryl? Hands huh? Um, yeah, yeah, everything's perfectly fine. You know you can talk to me about anything I mean, it doesn't have to be about and, work and, and not only that like crashing out and, 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 and beating on your girl is not worth it like even like even if she cheat bro and you end up p putting your hands on her as a man the cops are already gonna look at you crazy especially all woman gotta do is cry and say he quit max hit me and there's a there's a bruise on her even if she inflicted herself bro you're going to jail buddy so crashing out over a woman you doing years in prison Nah, nah, it's not worth it, bro. Um, I really appreciate it, Trevor, but everything's fine. Thanks. You gotta compose yourself, buddy. Ooh, woo. Wait, who's Honey Boo Boo? I know she I know she ain't talking to that to that fat white girl. Love. Roses are red, violets are blue. Here's something special for my little boo-boo. Those are some nice flowers. But who sent that? Hey, sweetheart, how was work? It was good. I'm just thankful I didn't have to stay as late as yesterday. I see you got my little gift. Okay. I did. It's beautiful. Thank you. Appreciate it. Beautiful flowers for a beautiful girl. Who's that? Um, I don't know. Look at this trip, bro. Look how fast he flipped it. Uh, hi. Who are you? Uh, Trevor? You know this guy? Yeah, I'm actually Cheryl's co-worker. Just wanted to give you this. Our boss actually gave us some extra work. Oh. Uh, that's strange. Wait, you could have just called. But like, hold on. This this is a little odd. Like, how bro just broke like just broke into the house like he owned the place, bro. That's a little weird. Either, mm, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, if if I'm if I'm at Tay House, right? Like like if if Tay talking to to his wonderful gorgeous black queen. And me and Tay work at the same, or, or me and Tay girl work at the same place. I can't just bust into Tay house. But like, oh yeah, uh, uh, Cheryl, you forgot your papers at work. Like you see how he just he just came into the house. I know weird. your house was on the way home. Figured it'd be easier to tell you in person. Yeah, like he live here. Isn't that sweet of you, Trevor? Tell you what, why don't you stick around and have some dinner with us? I'm sure there's enough for the three of us. Sure, that'd be great. Thank you. At that moment, my body froze. Trevor must have known something if he had all those questions. I feared for how Brandon might act. You gotta get out of there. So, or not. extra work, huh? Boy, that's some dedication, bringing it all this way. 
Yeah, I just wanted to make sure she got the paperwork before tonight. Our boss was pretty insistent on not delaying the project, so. Well, Brandon's been trying new recipes lately. Tonight's his latest attempt. Trust me, not all of them are successful. <laughs> this one time, I almost burnt the house down. But that's a long story. <laughs> well, uh, at least you got these cooking stories to share. I mean, I can barely whip up a bowl of cereal myself. <laughs> <laughs> that, so funny. tell me, Trevor, what do you do for fun? Do you have any hobbies? For a moment, it felt like everything was going to be okay. Trevor and Brandon really seemed to like each other. I dared to hope for a peaceful end to the day. Well, Trevor... Thank you so much for bringing that work by. You know, we weren't expecting company tonight, but I enjoyed every second of it. <laughs> well, I'm glad to have been that able to join you. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow at work. <laughs> you know what? I'll show you out. <laughs> now, nah, Trevor, a little weird, though. Tonight though for... was a reminder that moments of peace can emerge from the most unexpected the house like of that. circumstances. But as the door closed behind Trevor, she about to be, she I didn't about to be realize how wrong I was. Looks like you and Trevor really got along. She's lying again. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was right the whole damn time. He's the guy you've been seeing behind my back. What? No, uh, Trevor's just a co-worker. Yeah, a co-worker who knows where you live? Since when do co-workers personally bring you work this late at night, huh? No, he's just being nice. Trevor was just trying to be nice. That's all there is to Tell it. Kind of true. Am I supposed to believe that? Huh? Am I? Brandon, please, you're imagining things. There's nothing between him and I. I saw the way that you looked at him. <laughs> I saw the way your face lit up when he came in. Don't think I didn't notice. No, no. Like, like for her, like for it, for him and her to be together and the relationship should be perfectly fine. Like it's as soon as any man is in their presence, she gotta look down. Type be like no type on no type of eye contact. She can't interact with no type man. Like God, this is this is a little extreme, brother. Mad insecure to the to the umpteenth level, bro. Like she going she works with other people. She gotta socialize. Obviously, if she flirting and she got a man, of course that's a little that's an issue. But bro, she can't even say like a she, you know what I'm she can't even talk to to nobody. That's crazy. No. You're wrong. If Trevor was a woman, you wouldn't be this upset. Are you saying that I'm insecure? Yes. Are you saying that I'm the problem here? That I'm ruining our marriage? Yeah. In that moment, I realized no amount of reassurance would change his mind. I was trapped in a cycle of accusations and fear. How did we get here? And how do I find my way out? God. You like him so much, you brought him into our house. <laughs> into our house? <laughs> Now she need to call the police on. Maybe you are better off dead. Oh, if I can't have you, no one can. There we go. There we go. Call the police too. Yep. Bro need to be in jail. Hell no. Nah, that's messed up though. Bro. Hey, Cheryl. Uh, about last night. Brandon's a pretty cool guy. I hope you didn't take the packet I gave you the wrong way. I genuinely thought something bad was happening at home. I saw your bruise and I guess I just jumped to conclusions really fast. Yeah, that's exactly what, what? happened. Well, our boss didn't actually give us work yesterday. I just stapled a bunch of random documents together and had a crisis hotline number written in it. <laughs> oh my God, Cheryl, is, there, is everything okay? No, I'm not okay. Your instincts were right. So... Brandon did that to you? No, buddy. He's been abusing you. Yes. You're a victim. No. I mean, we've been married for four years. I... That's not an excuse for him to treat you like this. Yeah. I can't just leave. We're married. 
married and it wasn't always bad. Nah, you can't. That, that that's that's not an excuse, bro. Not only that, and y'all have no kids, so that's even less of a reason to 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 stay with him, bro. Now y'all been married for a long time, four years. That's that's a very long time, but still, you can't put that as an excuse to be staying with, especially when he abusing you. Like you can't have that that that, that Stockholm syndrome, bro. He putting your hands on you. He disrespecting you. He acting mad, crazy, and psychotic. Bro is literally hearing voices in his head like he the goddamn Green Goblin off of the Goaded Spider-Man trilogy. Frick no. I mean, we have good times together. We have a lot of good times, actually. Not anymore. All those good times don't erase the bad ones, especially when the bad ones are this harmful. Tell him, Jackie Chan. You're Hi -ya! not alone in this. There are people who can help you navigate through this. Like me. I'm just, I'm scared. You are stronger than you think. I know. I am. We'll find you the help that you need. Let's just start by calling the crisis hotline number. They're professionals. They can give you the advice that you need. For the longest time... Give me your damn phone! I felt like I was drowning. Unable to reach the surface. Oh, <laughs> But in Joking this moment, crazy. I realized that reaching out for help is the first step towards breaking the surface. Yeah. Get that dog. Somebody get that boy. Yeah, I called him. It's gonna be okay, Cheryl. Give me a call. Anytime. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Love you in uh, rush hour three, by the way. This is the first night in a long time I felt safe enough to sleep without fear. Making that phone call was hard, but it was the first step towards regaining control over my life. Tomorrow is uncertain, but at least now, I'm not alone. Dodge was saying, and he a bum. He don't even have a job. Good, he kicked that bum out of here, okay? Abuse of God things, wife is cheating, okay? Please, fellas. All right, if you think a girl cheating, you don't have to do all that, bro. It's weird, brother. It's weird, okay? You don't don't risk your, your, your life. Don't risk your freedom for a random chick, first of all. And second of all, you shouldn't even put you putting your, your hands on a woman like that in the first place, bro, okay? If she cheating, just literally dip, bro. If you feel like she cheating, if you feel like she's not a good woman, dip. And for my wonderful ladies out there, don't feel scared to, to, to call somebody to reach out, okay, if you think something wrong. Now, I know it's, it, it'd be a little bit different and, and difficult sometimes because you might feel like you can't get out of a relationship or you feel like if you tell somebody, he, you know, he might do something even worse, which sometimes that is the case. But at least try, okay? At least try the best you can, okay? But hope you guys enjoyed it, though. This is a good video. Appreciate you, Tay, by the way for freaking recommend me this. Thanks, man. I'm gonna catch you later.